recently, um, Cynthia Nixon, who was an actress on Sex in the City, put together a video. Um, well, she didn't put it together. She narrated it. But anyway, it was about empowering women and about mixed messages that we often receive, um, whether you know, what society places on us. Like, should we have long hair? Should we have short hair? Should we eat more? Should we eat less? Like all of these mixed messages. And it was really empowering for women. I thought it was really great. The other thing that I instantly thought about is how many mixed messages that we get as cancer patients when we're just diagnosed. So I put my own version together um, and I'm just gonna go for it. So, oh, you're too healthy to get cancer. Did you smoke? It was probably your environment. Do you live next to a cell phone tower? Didn't your grandmother have cancer? You know it skips a generation. Have you had genetic testing done? I recently had 23andMe done last year. Angelina Jolie had genetic testing done. You know, she was smart. Prevention is the best. She had everything removed. Can you believe some women are removing all of their lady parts just because some genetic test tells them they could have cancer? Did you know Uncle Bob died of lung cancer 10 years ago and Aunt Betty just found a spot on her lung? Nope, not one person in our family has cancer. We must have got the good genes. You shouldn't trust Western medical doctors. You know they're all in bed with the drug companies. And the drug companies, they really don't want a cure for cancer. That would mean that they wouldn't get as much money. Have you tried vitamin C shots? Oh, don't tell me you're doing that woo-woo stuff. Oh my goodness, the holistic community. Oh gosh, there's no proof of that. There's no clinical studies that prove that there's any of those things that work. Don't Google anything. The internet has all sorts of bad misinformation out there. You should do your research. You know, medical doctors don't know everything. Oh, you have breast cancer? You are going to have a medical or a female medical oncologist. You know, male doctors, they'll just never understand what you're going through. Um, when are you going to lose your hair? Oh, hair is not going to define you. Bald is beautiful. I have some scarves that a friend of mine who had cancer recently, she's finished with them. Her hair is all grown back now. Would you like for me to bring them over? I don't think you can run a meeting with a scarf on your head. No one is going to judge you from your exterior. Just go for it. You know, are you going to work? Are you going to, you know, your company will have medical leave from your employer. My company has a three-month paid leave policy. You know what? You should really just work a lot and keep yourself busy. That'll keep your mind off of everything. You know, my aunt was sick every day on her treatment, and the only thing that would help was Jello. You know you should eat whatever you want during treatment. If pizza sounds good, you should eat pizza. Cake, chocolate cake, you want me to bring you a cake over. You know sugar will feed your cancer. You have to immediately remove sugar from your diet. Are you gonna become vegan? Plant-based is the way to go, straight from the earth. You know my grandmother ate bacon and cooked with lard and she lived until she was 94 years old. You shouldn't be going to the gym. Your body needs rest. You're gonna exhaust yourself. You look pale. You aren't moving enough. Maybe you should walk five miles every day, I've heard, even if you don't feel like it. Fuck cancer. Cancer is stupid. Send vibes to your cancer. It's part of your body, you know. Love, love yourself. You don't deserve to get cancer. How did you get cancer? You're tough, you got this. My entire church is praying for you. We actually made you a prayer quilt. Can we please bring that over to you? Who's your surgeon? How much experience does he have? My, friends has a my friend had a plastics team and you should see her breast better than before. Are you having reconstruction? You know you don't have to have them put back on for anybody. <clears throat> I decided after 45 years of marriage, he's seen them before, it's time for them to go. Cancer has been a blessing. I've been able to change my life for the better. It's all how you look at the situation, you know, making lemons or making lemonade out of lemons. You're so positive. I would be a mess. If my doctor told me I had cancer, a hot mess. Did you, how do you tell your kids? How did you tell your husbands? Oh, poor things. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 
there's all of these messages and way more that we hear. And I think one of the biggest things is that I can re reiterate is that every cancer journey for that individual is gonna be different. And while people want to give best advice, I think at the end of the day, you have to cut through the clutter and then just be and be in tune to your body and know exactly what it is that you need. So whatever you guys are doing today, um, make it a fabulous one. Thanks for watching.